hey guys in this video we'll make a storyboard or you can say sprint board look like very similar to the azure or you can say jira or some other product can be we will make a new task list and we can move this task as a drag and drop and we can change the status of the task from new to active resolved and close it also or we can make it actually more it also like qa close testing backlog we can create a number of the thing also right if you are working in some industry you site such a task list or sprint board or you can say storyboard um, in different cloud platform we have it and guys this is our second web api project earlier we made a fetch api to call a live api in this one we will actually call it drag and drop and guys this is our sixth project you guys can go into javascript playlist and check all the project and you can download the source code from the github link that you will get it in the description also guys this project are very good project for a beginner you guys can put in your resume or you can actually put in your portfolio also i will add in more feature in the javascript also as we will move in further just take the reference from the source code just do the practice and make it more interactive so let's see the demo of it so as you can see this is storyboard and here we can add the task i didn't make a dialog but we can make a dialog or a form also there we can add the new task also suppose i'm adding it over here task list or you can say task manager second one i will add it a income tax calculator next visualization dash next is olympic dashboard olympic dashboard and next is e-commerce now by the name you understand these all are the project already we done it and this is today we are developing it like storyboard or we can say kanban kanban is a technical word guys for the such kind of board we can use so these are the totally new this is done we can move in the active or even we can say this is already closed it right and this progress also will move as we are moving in the task similar to that one this is inactive and suppose in the future might be we will make weather applications so that is our new task this is already done and suppose e-commerce was the last and i can say the result and this is we will make a new application and this is right now is active means this is current application we are making here i added the task id also in the form of the task hyphen whatever the index value we have and this is very smooth guys we can just simply drag and drop and we will get it so now let's jump on the coding part so in the code part i made it a three blank file index script and style i just made it html5 template and added the style and the script over here so in the body part first we will make a container and we will add a heading also below this one we will add a one more div that is canvan board this is our board guys there we will see the list of cards below this one we will make the four section one for new active resolved and close all will be very similar so this is new as similar to this one i can make it these are the four more also and that's it our html is done so when we click on add task definitely we need to show some prompt that we will show on this functions here we will pass key what kind of task we are adding it can be possible we can add the task directly in active and resolve or close also or might be we can make it exactly such application task should be added only in the new it should not be have the button over here because first it should be new and then we can move it also might possible we forget the write down the task and now the task we wanted to make in the list so we can write down it directly in the close also so that's why i added the button but it's our choice how we wanted to make it these are the four section of the div and we have these are the four button in the css guys it is plain css very simple please let me know if you require any help in the css or html i help out you you can write down in the comment sections so our html and css part is done now let's see on the browser we will right click and open with the live server live server i already installed extensions so you guys can install a extension also or you can run it through the live server npm command it also definitely we need to install a package so we can see our board design is working fine now we need to write down the so in the javascript side first we will make the two variable one for the which element we are dragging it and another is task counter because we need to increase the task count as we are adding the new task task counter initial value will set with the one another function is we need to add the new task one so this is the function name we'll add it over here function and new task and logic we need to write down inside of it and definitely we'll get the column id also means in which column we are adding it it can be new active resolved or closed either of them from this id guys we can get this column also this is the id belongs to this is the active belongs to this is so we will get the element through this column id so we'll get this column because we need to be add the task inside in it itself so we get a column after that once the user click on add task will show a prompt this is a prompt enter task title 
and this is javascript prompt guys is automatically will become with the one text box whatever the text we will enter it and we'll click on okay we will get that particular text over here if the task title we have then we need to create a div tag constant task equal to document dot create element by div the new task we are creating means new card we are generating it on this one we can add a class name task dot class name we can add it the task also that is fine task dot here we will add the draggable because this card can be possible to draggable. We can add through the set attribute or either we can add directly also. So I'm just adding directly the property draggable equal to true. So this card can be or this task can be draggable. Next thing we need to add the HTML of the task. One. And this is the HTML. So task counter will show, title will show and assign to particular user. Right now we have one user but it could be possible this task we are assigning to this user so we can give the username also. Next thing on this task, if suppose we will start a dragging or might be ending the dragging, we should be have some two event. So we need to register the event also. So I'm adding it over here. This is drag start. As a similar to that, we can write down the drag end also. Okay. So these functionality we need to write down separately. And definitely we need to increase the counter also. So plus plus done. So this is done. And one more thing, we should add the task inside in a div also. So we will write down column dot either we can use the append side or we can write down the insert before okay insert before means it will just insert it on the top of that append means in the last excel it will append it so right now we need to be just on the top excel okay so here we'll write down the task we wanted to be add this task the new div element plus we will add column dot last element side it will come similar to this one suppose i will click at task and paste and it should become or i can say it will come similar to this one like a way, it will come like a way. Okay, so this is the last cell element, it will insert it just before it one. So, this is the meaning we can give it any element also, just insert before that one. Append child means it will append it exactly inside in it. Inside in this block means it will come over here. So, this is done. Next thing is we need to write down the functionality of drag start and drag end. So, functions drag start, we will get event also, and we will write down logic over here. So in this one, so we'll get a dragging element. Which element we are dragging, that we will get it over here, e.target dragging element, okay? And this logic is not required. So we'll write down e.target dot class list. First we will add the one of the class, so class list dot add. And suppose at the time of dragging, I just wanted to write down this is the class name. Okay, when this particular element we will start picking, we will write down this one. Guys, if you wanted to be do some asynchronously, we can use the set timeout also. So over here, I'm just writing down set timeout and e dot target dot style dot display equal to none after zero second. Meaning is, so when I will just drag, so you can see displays just move from here right so when we just pick it up it will actually move from here and definitely we can see over here we need to drop it somewhere right so we can just after a certain second okay set timeout is actually come outside from the normal call stack and it separately move into the queue in javascript queue okay so that's why i moved it actually it should not become but after all this thing done so we'll just actually zero second means definitely it will separately it will take care of it similar to that we can write down the drag end also functions drag end and over here no we don't want but yeah definitely remove we want that we can use it also and next thing is we want target dot style dot display equal to block because we want it should be display or it should be come back on. so that's it two things we want over here so let's run it write down test over here we can see when i move you can see definitely we can we cannot be put it over here because we does not mean it actually this area is actually except the draggable element so we need to be fix this one but till here we made it actually and this is working well so next part is when we drag any element on this column we should be have some logic also that logic we will write down over here document dot query selector all and we will get column all the columns okay whichever the we given this class name we will get all the column one by one we will run the loop on it we will get one column and here we will write down the logic. First thing is when we drag over on a particular column, what we wanted to do. So 
here we are running a loop on add every column we will register an event drag over add event listener drag over this is drag over and here we will write on the callback function so once the drag is over then what we wanted to do first we will do the prevent default whatever the default behavior of it it will prevent it next thing is we will get the dragging task which task we are dragging that we will get it so when we started dragging that only particular task we will get the dragging only one task we will and we get the tracking. The task where we wanted to place it in that particular column. So in this column, we will place this task column insert before this particular task column dot last element child. So we want all the dragging element. Suppose from first column to second column, it should be goes in the last. We can make it also, it should be goes in between, but there we need to do calculations. Okay, but in this program, we wanted to move in the last one. Now let's test it. Suppose I'm adding few tasks and when I'm dragging it, you can see it's smoothly moving in another column. Next part is we does not have any indicator. Okay, progress bar. I showed it. So let's make a progress bar. We will make a functions update on column indicate and here we'll write down functionality so first we'll get document dot query selector all query selector all inside in it we'll get all the column and we will run a loop on it for each inside in it we have one callback functions the callback function name is update column indicator for example we will make this functions over here we will get one by one column so we are running on every column so first column we will get it over here so in html if we we'll go we have one indicator this indicator we will get it on every column wise so first we will get the indicator in the column only not in document so we will get it in the column so we will get column indicator here thing is we need to know how many tasks we have that we will get it in that particular column we will get query selector we will get through the query selector all all the tasks through the task class we will get and that length only we require so here we will get the task count next thing is we will calculate a simple width we will say math.min minimum value from these two value task multiply by 10 how many tasks we have suppose we have 5 tasks the task multiply by 10 ok 5 multiply by 10 50 will get it or either 100% either of them whatever the minimum will get it that particular width we will add it on indicator style so that is done this function also we should call it always initially it should be called on the page load second i'm calling this functions over here when we add the particular task okay this two thing is done let's test on browser we are adding the task you can see indicator is moving second and it is moving and it is moving that's great but when i'm dragging it it is not working so we should add this line of code in the end also when the drag is end it should be update the progress bar or indicator here also so let's test one more time one second task third task and i'm moving yes it is working it is reducing also it's working well so that's it guys so now our board is ready right so similar to this applications guys and next week also we'll develop a new project you guys can just follow it just re take the reference of source code just do the practical of it give the suggestions i want a project on this topic that topic if you have in your mind also please let me know and thank you so much for support and watching the video see you in the next video till the time happy coding